Evening guys, how's it going? Dale here. Uh, for this video, I wanted to take a minute and talk about high CPU usage. Um, lately, see, I've been seeing comments in some of my other unrelated videos, people asking me, why is my CPU usage at 80, 90, or 100% all the time when I boot up my computer? Um, there's a lot of reasons that could be happening. I'm just going to show you in this video a few simple or basic steps you can take to maybe help bring that number down a little bit. Uh, I deal with this all the time at my shop when customers bring in their computers. They have all kinds of things running in the background at startup, um, and they have no idea you know, how to manage that stuff. So I'm going to show you some steps to hopefully bring down your CPU usage. Let's start by going down here to our search box, or if you don't have that enabled, just right-click on Start, and go to Search, then type in uh, Task or TAS. It should pop right up. Hit Enter. And let's bring over here our task manager. Click on the performance tab. This is where you can get, you know, windows telling you what your CPU usage is. Currently, mine's basically at idle. I have my desktop recording software running in the background and a few other services and apps. Um, but I have a fairly high-end system here, and I'm not concerned about sitting here at 1% to 3%. Um, but if yours is up here around 30 40% or higher, just at idle without any you know active apps or programs uh, you probably got something going on that you can manage to help bring that number down so let's start I'm gonna move this over if you want to keep this on top while you're doing stuff just simply go up here and click on options and check this box that says always on top like, like I have it here that way it'll, it'll remain on top when you open up other programs so the first thing and the simplest thing you can do is go into your configuration utility. Um, you can either click on start up right here. Or just simply go down here to start and go to oh, right click on start. Go to run and type in MS config. If you just want to bring up this, you can see all the apps that are currently running in the background um, from a cold boot, so to speak. And a lot of these you probably want to leave enabled, but there usually are lots of them you can just simply right click on, notoriously being uh, OneDrive being one of them. Just right click and hit hit disable. Now a lot of these apps you can uninstall if you're not using them no more or you don't need them. You can always get them again, like OneDrive. It's easy to get through the Microsoft Store if you want it. But if you are using it, that's good. That means you're back and updated to the cloud. But disable that because OneDrive. Apps like OneDrive, um, oh, News App, let's go down here and cancel this, go down and start, like um, News, Weather, Photos, Groove Music is another one. Again, if you're using these apps, that fi that's fine, but these are our tiles that are what we call live. So let me show you, if you right click, say on the Weather app, right click on it and go to More, you can simply turn it off. You can open it up. And the weather app still going to work fine or the photos you can right click go to more turn live tile off you can do that with most of these apps you don't need them being live it's using resources mainly cpu resources but onedrive news the, the groove music weather and others um, use a lot of resources when they're running like that or when they're turned on so simply turn them off I get a lot of customers that bring in their computers and they have their menu, start menu out here like this, and they got, you know, two or three dozen apps running in there, and they're wondering why their CPU usage is just so high. So you, if you don't have this organized, oop, they want to do that. If you don't have this organized and cleaned up down here, you really need to do that. Only have in here stuff that you're going to use a lot, or just, you know, you can right click and unpin them from start. It's pretty simple to do. Or if you're not using that app, just simply uninstall it. So without getting off in the weeds too much there. Uh, let's move on to the next thing. So if you go into your startup here, d disable ones you don't need. If you're not sure what it is, leave it. It could be your virus software. It could be QuickBooks. It could be some other important app that you need running when you start up. But typically, you can disable most of this stuff. The app will still work. You just don't need it running all the time. After you do that, make sure you do a quick restart. Um, actually, before you start any of this, just go down to your start button click on power and do a restart it'll refresh your whole system get you where you need to be so you got a clean fresh startup so to speak if you go to <clears throat> performance here you can see if i look at my uptime down here at the bottom here you can see i've been 
been a while, a few days since I've done a restart. I've had customers bring in computers and their uptime number is up there to like two or three months. And do a restart, it takes a long time, but wang, wang, bang, the system runs better after a fresh restart. So do that first before you do anything. Um, and then go in and deal with your startup programs. Now, other things you can do, important one, let's close that. Go down to your start menu button, right click, uh, go to run, type in MS config, hit OK, and go over here to services. Check the box to hide all Microsoft services. You don't want to mess with those. You're going to see a lot in here um, that you can disable. These are services that you know a lot of apps you, you know are going to require. So again, if you have um, up-to-date current antivirus software, um, other programs like that, there, there's going to be things in here that you want or services you want to leave alone. But again, for troubleshooting purposes, go ahead and click disable all. Click apply, then click OK, and do a restart. Then go back to your CPU usage and see where you're at. The culprit could be in here in services or under your startup here in your task manager. So if you do those things first, you might see a notable difference in your oops in your CPU usage. So do that first. Um, typically, that will take care of the problem. Um, but program or apps like Weather, uh, OneDrive, News. Uh, Groove Music, and a lot of other Microsoft apps. They're what we call UWP apps. That's Universal Windows Platforms apps. Uh, they're, they're kind of brokered by, by that service. If you go into Processes here, actually, and you scroll down and look for uh, Runtime Brokers. Well, oop, Runtime Broker right here. This, this service here is what um, is associated with the, uh, those apps I was just talking about, like OneDrive and Groove Music and things like that. So if you got, if you're sitting at idle and this CPU usage over here on Runtime Broker is, you know, a high number, you got something going on that you need to disable or uninstall. So let me close that out. And let's get into settings. Go here to start button. Go to settings. Uh, let's start by going to your system. And then over on the left where it says notifications and actions, click on that. And by default, this is typically what you see. All these boxes are going to be checked. Get tips and tricks and suggestions as you use Windows. Nah. Suggestions when I finish set up on a device. Nah. Show me Windows welcome experience. Nope. And so on and so forth. Just uncheck these. Uh, if, you, if you turn this off right here, get notifications from apps and other senders. It's going to turn all these off. Now, if you want to... Leave one of these on, you know, for your Chrome browser. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe the Microsoft Store, if you're doing a lot of apps through the store, you can. But typically, you can turn all these off, and you're, you're not going to see any difference, except your computer is going to run a little bit smoother and more efficient, and you're going to have better CPU usage. So start by doing that. And some of this other stuff over here, you can go in and turn off, you know, if you're not utilizing that particular service or feature. Um, the, the more you turn off, the better, as long as your system's still doing what you want it to do. So let's go back to Home on Settings. Then let's go over here to Privacy. This one I see all the time as well. Scroll down on the left here where it says Background Apps. Again, by default, all these Microsoft apps that came with your, your, your fresh Windows install on your computer are going to be turned on. Again, you can turn these off one at a time. I mean, who needs the calculator app and the 3D viewer turned on? Um, or you can just go up here, do this, and it turns them all off. But if you want to leave some of these turned on, you certainly can. But typically, if you do that right there, but uh, apps run in the background, turn that off. That's going to help considerably. Uh, let's go back to Home on Settings. And let's go over to Personalization. And another one that, that can help a lot is over here on your lock screen. You can... By default, it's going to be this. It's going to, oops, sorry guys. It's going to be the window spotlight. So you got all those different images, you know, changing on your, on your lock screen that are brought to you by Microsoft from the internet or from the cloud. So if you want to just change that to a static picture, simply go to picture, quick browse, choose your own photograph or your own picture, or just choose one of the default Microsoft photos for your lock screen. So let's go back to home. 
we're gonna go over here to privacy this one right here guys that I already showed you turn all this stuff up should make a notable difference but um, let's go back to home let's go over here to apps now for example Microsoft OneDrive if you are not using that service or that uh, that app just get rid of it you can simply go into your apps here find Microsoft OneDrive or OneDrive uh, it is under sorry right here OneDrive hit uninstall and bang it's gone off the computer um, so many computers I see come in the shop, they boot it up, one drive's popping up, they just simply close it and, and live with it. Well, just uninstall it. Unless you're using it, that's great. Um, don't be surprised if one drive shows up again one day after a Windows update, Microsoft's trying to get, get everybody to use their free cloud service. So those are some basic tips you can take to help bring down your CPU usage, guys. Um, the, the, there's a lot of things to consider for CPU usage. Again, at idle, if you're sitting at 30, 40% or higher, you probably got a lot of stuff running in the background you just simply don't need to have running. So try some of those steps, see if there's a notable difference. There should be, and um, that's it. So I appreciate y'all watching. Have a great evening.